Hello, my beautiful darling loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe so you know when my uh, readings, uh, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. If you would like to spread some love and positivity, please go ahead and post a positive affirmation um, or something that you're grateful for in the comment section below with a green heart, okay? Um, all right, my loves, we're going to get to... Uh, why am I speaking like backwards today? I don't know what the deal is. All right, so we're gonna start the reading with a Butterfly Blessing Oracle. If you would like to book a reading with me, check out my Tarot and Oracle decks or my Tarot tutorial. The links to those are below, okay? Um, all right, let's get poppin'. Spirit, tell me about my little lion cubs, please. Blessings coming to Leo. Loneliness consumes you and the blessing lies in asking why you need this time alone, lessons and healing. You will be tempted and tested. Your blessings will be self-control, cutting corners, illegal or investigation. And then we've got your lover has abusive tendencies and the blessing lies in self-love, narcissistic, mental, verbal, emotional and physical. Okay. All right, so Leo, there's one specific message that came through, which is very important. If you have someone in your life that is physically abusive towards you, okay, if you have someone in your life that's physically abusive towards you, you may feel like you're helping this person by maintaining self-control and not, you know, contacting the cops or uh, getting help for yourself. But I don't think that that's the case. Okay. I think you need to seek, you know, help or get a restraining order or something along those lines. If anyone is physically abusing you in a relationship. Okay. Another thing I'm getting here, Leo, is if someone is abusive towards you and you plan on leaving, Spirit is saying to maintain self-control. Like you may want to take things that just to be spiteful, like if you bought someone a gaming console or you may want to do something spiteful when you leave. Spirit is saying not to do it because you may be the one that gets in trouble. After all that abuse that this person dished out, you may be the one that gets in trouble. Okay. Either way, though, uh, Leo, there's definitely a message here of, you know, don't cut corners, do things the right way. Um, I do feel like there's a, you're single right now. And this period of, of time that you are alone, spirit is asking you to focus on any healing that needs to be done, probably because you have something new coming in, Leo. Okay. Probably because you have something new coming in and spirit wants you to be ready for it. Okay. All right, let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I feel very distracted. Leo, what is going on with your energy? Oh, my Lanta. So distracted. Like, I feel like I can't speak. I feel like, whoo, my mind is just everywhere. Like, what is happening? Tell me about, I, I think that Leo, you guys are getting out of something abusive and you have this, maybe it's not all of you, but one of you, I don't know. There's like this adrenaline pumping through your veins of like, just, just, you know, just this crazy distracted, you got to move so fast type of thing. And I think that's why spirit is saying, be careful. Don't, don't cut corners. Don't do shit. You're not supposed to do. Cause you may do something in the spur of the moment because you're so distracted and you're not thinking correctly. Be careful with that. Tell me about Leo. What first freaking card out. Yeah. Be control yourself here, Leo. Okay. Cause we've got spite, revenge, bitter, and scorned. Whether you know it or not, you hurt me. And I want to see you suffer for what you did. So Leo, I think that you're coming out of a situation and you want to get your lick back. 
I think you want to get your lick back. I think you want to let, you know, one final fuck you. That's what you're looking for here. Like one final F you, right? This is a past life soulmate that you may be leaving behind. It could be karmic. Tell me about Leo, please. Yeah. I feel like it's going to take time for you to heal. Phoenix, can you please stop? It's going to take time for you to heal from what this person has put you through. But please be careful here, Leo, because I think that sometimes when we've been hurt too much, we get into this reckless, spiteful, ugly energy, okay? And we've all been there, Leo. There's it's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. We have all, I myself included, we have all been there. It, it's like a, ta that's technically the tower moment when you just have that moment of, I can't take it anymore. I cannot take it anymore. And you want to lash out and you want to yell and you want to scream and you want to hurt. And, you know, you want people to be hurting the way you've been hurting. You're, you're going to have one of those moments here, Leo. And Spirit is saying to please be careful because you don't want to get yourself into any type of trouble here. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Leo. Yeah, I, I think that some time alone is necessary here, Leo. I think that you're going to be focusing on work. You're going to be focusing on your healing journey, okay? Um, but as you release this, watch your feelings because I think you've been holding a lot in. And let me tell you something. When a Leo gets going, a Leo gets got all fire signs. You know what I'm saying? But you know, quiet, quiet, quiet. But, you know, my grandmother used to say, and she was a Sagittarius, she used to say, you could hit me a thousand times, but me, it's just going to take one punch. So, you know, Leo, this is someone that has poked you and poked you and poked you and poked you, and you just want to have a knockout. You you just want to have that one knockout. Like, you, you just want to leave with a bang, right? Spirit is saying be careful because your bang may be a little too bangy, okay? Your, ba your bang may be a little too, uh, you know, uh, successful, uh, you know, and you could end up with charges or, you know, in more of a headache than, you, than you're already in, okay? So just watch your temper. Watch your temper because you're really going to want that one final fuck you when it comes down to this individual, Spirit is saying to just walk away, focus on your healing, focus on being single, focus on removing yourself, you know, say, you know, the, the, the releasing aspect of letting this go, focus on your career, focus on business, focus on making money. Um, but don't do anything stupid because you're really, really going to want that final fuck you. Like really, I mean, it's just, you're just dying for it. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo. We've got the Six of Wands. And we've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Ace of Wands. And we've got the King of Cups. We've got the Page of Wands. And we've got the emperor. Oh, Leo, you have, let me tell you something. Please don't get yourself caught up in any drama with this ex, with courts or police or anything like that, because you've got something beautiful coming towards you, Leo. Okay. There is new love coming towards you and it is going to be magnificent. This person's going to put you on a pedestal. With the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups, this person is, their emotions are very balanced, okay? They're very passionate towards you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups is, this is, you've got my lust, you've got my love, you've got my heart, you've got everything. Uh, Page of Wands and the Emperor, this could be a single parent with a child, or this is someone that may tell you about their business or their life. This could be someone older, someone that has their own business, okay? Okay. Or someone that does well for themselves financially. We've got the judgment card and temperance. Uh, Spirit is asking you to not choose violence. Spirit is asking you to choose peace, okay? Spirit is asking you to choose peace. You know, I'm hearing with the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles, you saying, well, fuck that. I paid for it or I paid for it. So I'm going to take this or I'm going to do this or I'm going to break this. Don't, don't think that way. Just do not choose violence. Choose peace and just move on. Okay. It'll be so worth it. 
Uh, Eight of Cups in the reverse. This person is going to try to return. They are going to try to get you back um, with the Devil card here and the Five of Cups, Leo. I do feel like this person is, is regretting how they treated you because you're really, you know, walking out. But I do feel that with the Chariot here, Leo, that you're moving on to bigger and better. Okay. You're definitely moving on to something better. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Just just keep yourself in a stable energy. I think that you have really, really had it with this person, Leo, and there's no more playing nice. So my recommendation at this point is to just stay away from this person because this person is going to catch hands. You might break things. You might put holes in the wall. Like you might run this person over with your fucking car. Like, you know, I, I think that you've reached that level of I've had it, you know, it, I, actually you've surpassed that level of I had it, okay? Um, but Spirit is asking you to please stabilize your emotions because there's so much better coming in for you, okay? There's so much better coming in for you. This person's going to want your forgiveness. They're going to come back. They're going to beg. I would recommend to not entertain this person because they're going to say something stupid. They're going to do something stupid because you're already really pissed off. And I think that it would take very little at this point to put you behind bars, okay? You, you don't look good in orange. I know it, you know it, we all know it, okay? You don't look good in stripes, okay? So just, you know, leave it alone, okay? Two of Cups and the World card with the Fool card here, Aries Energy. Leo, this is it. I mean, this is the end. Spirit is saying to just move on. You have new love coming in. You have a new journey coming in. Okay. You know, don't let this person steal that from you. Okay. Don't let this person rob you of that. They've taken enough from you. They've taken your time. They've taken your energy with the page of swords and the nine of pentacles. See the truth for what it is. And the truth is here is that you're free. You're sitting in nine of pentacles energy. Okay. You're single, you're beautiful, you're abundant, you're handsome. You're, you're, you're just a beautiful person inside and out. You don't need your life destroyed by this person any more than it already has been. Just separate yourself. And that is the win. You see what I'm saying? That is the win right there. That, that you just do, leaving and doing better and being happy is the biggest revenge that will that is the final fuck you okay and i understand what you're saying what you're saying is with the nine of swords and the five of swords and the seven of cups i want to lose my shit though gina i get that i i understand i've been there leo don't forget i'm a leo venus and a leo rising okay so i've been there okay i get it I, and i feel like you're just like i just want to hit shit Hulk smash. Okay. <laughs> like that's where you're like, you're just like Hulk smash. That's where you're at Leo. Okay. Five of swords, the nine of swords and the seven of cups. This person have, has driven you to the point of fucking insanity. And I get it. Okay. I get it. People just do that, you know, to you sometimes. I do. I get it. With the six of cups and the knight of pentacles, you've forgiven so much. You've done right by this person. You've done so much. You know, we've got the Six of Cups here, the Knight of Pentacles, the Justice card, Libra Energy, and the Ten of Swords. You know, you've done so much for this person. You've done right for this person. You've helped this person. You've stayed by this person. And all they do is keep hurting you and hurting you and hurting you and hurting you and hurting you. And it, it just, it's enough to make you crazy. And I get it. You know, it's enough to make you crazy. Spirit is saying, I know you want to have this grand finale, final fuck you. You want to rip this person's, you know, house apart. You want to, you know, take the three of their tires. You want to do, do the whole thing. You want to put sugar in their gas tank. I get it. I get that you want to do some crazy off the wall shit. Don't. Okay, just don't. Your, your biggest revenge is going to be being single, being happy, being financially stable and moving on with your life. That is going to be your best revenge. And that is exactly, that is exactly what spirit's plan is for you. With the two of wands, if you make the right decision here and the nine of cups here, you're going to have everything that you, your heart has been desiring. With the five of pentacles, just leave this alone, leave quietly, okay? Four of pentacles, Take your shit, pack it up and go. And that's it. You know, just, just let it go. There's no need to put yourself in a worse position. 
okay? Four of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Just, just look at it this way. You just have to get over this hump, get away from this person, and soon with this Four of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, you'll be cruising. You'll, you'll be just basking in your blessings, okay? Five of Wands and the Six of Swords. Again, you know, Leo, this is you wanting to, before you get in that car to leave, you want to go out with a bang. You know, you want to throw a rock through this person's window. You want to hit them over the head with the frying pan. You want to, I don't know, you know, break their gaming console, something. I don't know. You want to do something here, okay? Don't do it. You know, you want to empty their banking account or something like that. Don't do it. Okay, just don't do it. Don't do it. Whatever, whatever that last lick is, whatever that last clapback is, whatever that last fuck you is that you want to do, don't do it. Because Leo, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, you've got the Ten of Pentacles here, you got the Two of Cups, you got the Wheel of Fortune, you've got love coming in, you've got money coming in, you've got blessings coming in. Spirit, you know, the Bible says, do not seek revenge, allow room for the wrath of God. Because the bottom line is, you know, if God wants to punish somebody, it's going to be way worse than anything that you can do. I promise you what God is about to do in your life is going to be way worse way worse than you putting, I don't know, Nair in this person's shampoo bottle, okay? Or putting laxative in the milk container, okay? It, it's or, or putting, you know, eye drops in their, their Gatorade bottle, okay? It's going to be way worse than whatever stupid shit you think up, okay? It's going to be way worse. And their worse is your blessing because Spirit wants to, when you get away from this, spirit is going to make you so happy and so blessed that this person is going to have no choice but to eat their heart out. Do you see what I'm saying? Four of cups here. They're going to have no choice but to feel rejected and, and, and just, you know, like an idiot for losing you. Page of cups and the four of cups, you know, they're going to come back around. They're going to apologize and you're going to say no. You know, you're going to say no. Life is too good. I'm not going back to that shit, you know? So Leo, trust me, trust me, happiness is going to be your best revenge. You don't need this final fuck you, okay? Spirit is going to do it for you. God is going to do it for you. Your success and victory is going to do it for you, okay? You don't need to put yourself in a bad situation just to have the last word, all right? That's what I got for you guys. I love you all so very much, and I will see you soon. Take care, my loves.